children nice to meet you again so we namma start pannirala so let me share my screen last class uh, we started with the basic principles and concepts of stoichiometry so namma adu continue panni i am going to uh, wind up this topic and we'll do some questions also so the questions vandha namma we'll personally we are going to practice so please pay attention each and every concept solli tharum bodhe na solli irken and then the concept thaganda pole formulas and application also we will be see so ensuring you to have a notebook or notebook vechukonga eppome kaiyila important was and the topic name in date put put konga put the topic heading and start writing and then a formulas ning encounter pandringa on a, on a weekly basis so adu eludikittinga na it is easy for you also to correlate and understand whatever is taught and the continuity when the definite a irukum so let me share my screen Yes, children. So, you know, screen visible, Arka. Is everybody able to see it clearly? Yes, there is a question also, yes, which is already ready. I have put the question and kept things ready. So, one of you can read it. So, you can go through it. It's quite simple. So, first read and understand the question, and then I will tell you how to solve this question. Okay. So, first one, you try to understand. So, I will read the question. Now, study. The mass of potassium dichromate crystals required to oxidize. 750 cm cube of 0.6 molar more salt solution more salt abdingra it is a uh, it's a particular salt which is used and given molar mass of potassium dichromate potassium dichromate molar mass kuduttaanga 294 and the molar mass of the more salt is given as 392 so idu da vandu question la kuduthirukranga this is what is the given data in the question okay i repeat they have given the mass of potassium dichromate crystals required to oxidize volume in the volume kuduttaanga 750 cubic cm of 0.6 molar concentration of moles more salt solution has been given and molar mass of potassium dichromate potassium dichromate abdingrad enad k2cr2o7 right <coughs> that is potassium dichromate and more salt is 392 so idukku vanda ungalku formula therinjirukanum so i will give you the formula also here K2Cr2O7 is basically your potassium dichromate, okay, and potassium permanganate also. It's good to know. I do under KMnO4, okay. So I do under third year school. These are basic salts which you should def uh, definitely know. And more salt solution. So more salt. I'm doing rather. It is a, it is a complex salt. So I will give you the formula for more salt. In the nail there, I do under is potassium dichromate. Let me underline. This potassium dichromate is what I have written the formula, so you can make a note. Next one, the more salt pakla. So more salt, I am going to give. Yeah, so more salt formula is FeSO4. That is iron sulfate dot diammonium. That is NH4 taken twice. SO4 dot 6H2O. So it's a hydrated salt because it has got water of crystallization. 6H2O. So water molecule to the nala, you call it as a hydrated salt. So this is the formula for more salt. Okay. So idha. For next, what we have to do? You have to find out crystals required to oxidize. Abdi na, you should write the reaction, chemical reaction to be written first. based on the more salt let us write down the chemical reaction ipo idu identify pannunga more salt la vande which is my metallic part ungalku ellarkume theriyum metals vande what do metals do metals are donating electrons illaya metal vande donate uh, electrons donate pandradanaala ena form pandrathu cation form pandradungala illa anion form pandrada all these are basics is it does it form cation or anion cation vande cation sir very good it forms cation yes that's correct so therefore inge pathinga na the oxidizable part is your iron so iron is basically the oxidizable part so in a, what is the configuration of iron iron vandu or a transition metal iron vandu is having a dual valency dual valency na rendu valency vandu exhibit pannudhu iron what are the two valencies of iron plus 2 and plus 3 
plus 2 இருக்கும் போது நம்ம ஃபெரஸ் அப்படினு சொல்லி சொல்றோம் ஃபெரஸ் அயான் plus 3 இருந்துச்சுனா ஃபெரிக் அயான் அப்படினு சொல்றோம் அதே மாதிரி காப்பர் கூட பாத்தீங்கனா கியூப்ரிக் இருக்கு கியூப்ரஸ் இருக்கு கியூப்ரஸ் வந்து Cu2+ கியூப்ரிக் வந்து Cu Cu+ வந்து கியூப்ரஸ் Cu2+ வந்து கியூப்ரிக் சோ அந்த மாதிரி we have variable valencies for transition metals which among which iron and copper are important so now we are looking for iron so iron vandu let me write the equation for iron okay so i am going to show how iron is basically undergoing oxidation adukku i take the iron cuprous uh, the basically the ferrous state sorry so fe2 plus it is going to get oxidized to get oxidized what should happen it has to basically give an electron so it donates an electron therefore i am going to write fe3 plus plus electron okay so idu vande enna enna nadakkud in the reaction la 2 plus state la irundhu it is going it is increased to 3 plus state whenever there is an increase in oxidation state what is the process called the process is called oxidation the oxidation state increase aachuna you call that process as oxidation and you can see electron is also given out during oxidation or electron form ayiruka yes on the right hand side so therefore you say that this is oxidation is it clear so idu da oxidation reaction nam eludirukom ipo charges balance ayiruka next you should check whether the charges have been balanced left side what is the overall charge of ferrous ion it is 2 plus right side what is the charge 3 plus and there is one electron appo what is the total charge 3 plus adavadhu plus 3 minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 edhuk potukuren electron oda charge paathina negative 1 abingiradunala overall charge vandu same da plus 3 minus 1 vandu overall charge will be plus 2 is it clear so the reaction is totally balanced the charge wise also it is balanced so adha da na vandu solla varen so this is the oxidation reaction that you have to first write after you write the reaction now we will go proceed and we will find out how to solve it further so next let me go further so this is a reaction next avanga enna solliranga the mass of potassium dichromate crystals required to oxidize the more salt solution so potassium dichromate la vandu just now i gave you the formula for potassium dichromate k2cr2o7 okay so k2cr2o7 split aachuna what will be the formula K2 Cr2O7. I am splitting. If I split the cationic and anionic part, that is the metallic part and the substrate part. In the metallic part, when the potassium atom da Cr2O7 when the is the other part. So first, I will remove the alkali part. So when I remove, what happens? I will get 2K plus plus Cr2O7 2 minus. Okay. so therefore this is the ionization of potassium dichromate first potassium dichromate vandu ionize pannunga namak chromate ion venum so potassium ion vandu you are we are trying to remove we are trying to deprotonize deprotonize na i am removing the cationic part of potassium dichromate so when i remove it i will get 2k plus yena rendu potassium irukradanaala i am balancing by putting 2 k plus one the potassium ion oda configuration yena potassium vandu alkali metal dane so it will just give one electron and k2 and cr2 o7 2 minus yen 2 minus potrukken yena rendu potassium atoms vandu nam remove pannirukom separate pannirukadanaala chromate i
ஹலோ சில்லர் அம் ஐ ஆடிபிள் கேக்குதுங்களா ஐ திங்க் காட் டிஸ்கனெக்ட் எஸ் சார் யா 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 லெட் மீ ரீ ஷேர் நெட் வாஸ் நெட்வொர்க் इशू எஸ் திருப்பி ஷேர் பண்றேன் லெட் மீ நோ இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு சீ இட் சோ வேற ஒரு நெட்வொர்க் நான் இப்ப ஸ்விட்ச் ஓவர் பண்ணிட்டேன் தேர் வாஸ் சம் நெட்வொர்க் டிலே ஓகே தெரியுதுங்களா எஸ் சார் எஸ் எஸ் ஓகே சோ we'll continue சோ பொட்டாசியம் டைக்ரோமேட்டோட வந்து ஐ வாஸ் ஷோயிங் யூ பொட்டாசியம் டைக்ரோமேட் வந்து எப்படி ஸ்ப்ளிட் ஆகுது பொட்டாசியம் அயான்ஸ் வந்து செப்பரேட்டா எழுதுறோம் அப்புறம் குரோமேட் குரோமேட் அயான் வந்து we have written separately குரோமேட் அயான் how it is formed ரெண்டு பொட்டாசியம் இருக்கிறதுனால சோ இட் இஸ் ஃபார்மிங் 2 மைனஸ் அண்ட் பொட்டாசியம் வந்து பிலாங்ஸ் டு ஆல்கலி குரூப் அப்படிங்கறதுனால இட் இஸ் ஃபார்மிங் +1 சோ so, 2k+ Cr2 O7 2 மைனஸ் அவ்வளவுதான் this is quite simple so this this is the reaction so ipo in the reaction la pathina we have got our chromate ion so chromate ion is basically going to react for more salt la pathina we have <coughs> water molecule hydrated water molecule is there so water molecule molecule irukadunala so therefore it is going to react with it is going to react with the corresponding hydrated water molecule so our overall reaction will be ipo i am going to write the reaction so we got our chromate ion i will put a box so chromate ion nam eludikla first so cr2 o7 2 minus chromate ion is reacting with water water la vande what is the cationic part h2o split pannina na ungalku h plus um oh minus um da varum that is for one water molecule when you have in more salt six water molecules the possibility of total number of water molecules will be 6 2s are 12 right so you have 12 so 12 h plus can potentially be possible along with 2 h plus coming from your ammonium so totally number of h plus vandu namak availability irukirathu pathinga is going to be 14 first 12 eludikla anyway nama balance pannum bodhu namak number kedachu so i will try, write all the h plus ions which are available so 14 h plus i am writing will give now complete the reaction so reaction ninga complete pannum bodu this is ionic reaction so cr2 o7 2 minus vandu chromate ion so chromate ion enna pannum so again get split split aachuna ungalku chromium ion form aagum chromium ion chromium oda valency pathinga it is plus 3 so cr3 plus will be formed plus next number of water molecules because 14 hydrogens are there 14h plus is there so therefore you will get 7 2s are 14 அப்படிங்கறதுனால நான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் H2O போட்டுக்கிறேன் அதுக்கு அப்புறம் நீங்க நம்பர் போட்டுக்கோங்க அப்ப அகார்டிங்லி பேலன்ஸ் பண்றது சோ 14 அப்படிங்கறதுனால ஐ புட் 7 சோ 7 2s are 14 சோ அப்படியே இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் गोइंग टू गेट பேலன்ஸ்ட் ஓகே சோ திஸ் இஸ் ஹவ் ஐ அம் ரைட்டிங் தி ஈக்குவேஷன் சோ திஸ் இஸ் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் செகண்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஆல்ரெடி ஐ ரோட் ஆன் தி டாப் சோ அத நான் திரும்பி இங்க ஐ அம் गोइंग टू ரைட் தட் இஸ் Fe 2 நம்ம எழுதணும் இல்லையா ஆக்சிடேஷன் ஆஃப் யுவர் அயன் will give me fe3 plus plus electron okay so i am writing this so this is going to be the equation okay so once i have written the equation ipo in the equation vandu you have to balance based on the number of electrons vandu you have to go for balancing all the uh, both the equations to be completely balanced so enna pandrena number of electrons vandu left side pathinga na 14h plus abingradanaala so number of electrons which required to balance your chromium ion will be how much totally 2 plus and 3 plus is been formed in iron so ferrous to ferric is been formed so therefore accordingly i am multiplying by the same number on both the sides so totally i am going to multiply this equation by 6 so when i multiply by 6 2 threes are also 6 3 twos are also going to be 6 up to that i am going to multiply both the sides with 6 the same way here also 6 electrons i am going to put 14h plus plus 6 electrons so i am putting here also to balance the entire equation and chromium chromium inga rendu iruka left side inga onnu da iruk so put a 2 here so adala paathittu accordingly neenga ellathiyum balance pannikonga once you have balanced the equation writing the total equation overall equation i am going to write so overall reaction reaction when we write how do we write it on the top the number of uh, ion or you can say ion 2 configuration ion or ferrous ions fe2 plus ions pathinga how many are there we basically have 
So because I have multiplied with six, I'm taking another six Fe two plus plus chromium. Chromium and the potassium dichromate pathing in is going to be Cr two O seven two minus plus H plus one the fourteen of the another fourteen H plus will give. அதே மாதிரி இங்கேயும் சிக்ஸோட மல்டிப்ளை பண்றதுனால சிக்ஸ் எஃப்இ த்ரீ பிளஸ் பிளஸ் ஹவு மெனி குரோமியம்ஸ் டு பி ஹேவ் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் டூ குரோமியம்ஸ் டூ சிஆர் த்ரீ பிளஸ் இல்லையா ரைட் ஹேண்ட் சைட் ஸோ டூ சிஆர் த்ரீ பிளஸ் தட் இஸ் குரோமியம் அயான்ஸ் பிளஸ் செவன் மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் செவன் எச் டூ ஸோ திஸ் வில் பி மை ஓவரால் ரியாக்ஷன் போத் சைட்ஸ் தே ஆர் பேலன்ஸ்ட் அயான் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லெஃப்ட் சைட் ஆறு right side of r irukadunala it is balanced chromium also two left side right side also you have two and oxygen atoms check panikonga left side we have seven right side also seven and ox uh, hydrogens 14 left side right side also seven two are 14 so the equation is completely balanced so in the equation ninga first arrive pannu so once you arrive at this equation then we go to problem solving okay so for the problem solving part so how many moles of iron will form how many moles of potassium dichromate or how many potassium dichromate is involved in the formation so adha nama paakla so the number of moles will be Yes. So the number of moles which are there. So the number of moles of Fe two plus. I think. The number of moles of Fe two plus will be equal to. Ipo. As per the question, na makena kuthre pranga seven fifty cubic centimeter abdin soli they have already mentioned. So. molar volume concept apply panna porom so molar volume concept when we apply you know that formula vand enna formula number of moles n is equal to v into the corresponding stoichiometric coefficient so adu vand from the question uh, we have molar concentration 0.6 concentration already given So V into C. This is the relationship. In the relationship, let's take a look. Number of moles is equal to volume times concentration. Yeah, na concentration means number of moles per unit volume. Is it? Yeah. So then, then I will rearrange it. Right. So rearrange it. Right. So I am going to substitute on the top. I will substitute it. Right. Volume. Here, can I question? Let's put it. Right. I am substituting the volume seven fifty multiplied by. concentration கொடுத்திருக்காங்க क्वेश्चनல 0.6 so multiply பண்ணிக்கோங்க 750 into 0.6 you will get 450 because 6 upon 10 அப்படிங்கறதால 6 into 75 so you are going to get 450 as the value so this is the number of moles of fe2 plus okay so we got this next so number moles again number of moles of the corresponding reaction that is fe2 plus ke paathirala so it will be 450 na yen divided by 1000 na na moles mol la convert pannu it was cubic centimeter so divide by 1000 so i divide by 1000 and converting so if i divide by 1000 0 0 cancel 0.45 you will get 0.45 moles cubic centimeter vanda i want to convert appropriately to the, to my units so then i'll divide by 1000 and convert so 0.45 moles are been solely will get it as per the question as per the equation what is the equation we have <coughs> how many moles of fe2 plus 6 moles left side parunga equation la left hand side la 6 moles of fe2 plus is forming how many moles is reacting with how many moles of uh, potassium dichromate it is reacting with One mole. So that's all. So I'm going to write it from the equation. 
from the equation 6 moles Fe2 plus 6 moles Fe2 plus is equal to 1 mole of potassium dichromate. It is 6 moles of Fe2 plus requiring how many moles of potassium dichromate? Requiring 1 mole of potassium dichromate. So, Ade Madri. So, 0 0.45 moles. Just your proportion, ratio and proportion use for you will get the answer. So, therefore, 0 0.45 moles Fe2 plus will give how many? 0 0.45. Upon 6, Ilya, 6 moles one day is equal to giving 1 mole potassium dichromate. Na, for 0.45 moles, yadana potassium dichromate one the form for no 0.45 upon 6. Use the proportion. So, 0 0.45 upon 6, Abdina, you will get it as 0 0.075 moles of Cr2O7 2 minus. That is potassium, that is chromium uh, dichromate, not potassium, just dichromate ion. So, in the ethanol dichromate ion is basically going to be formed. Okay. So, we want to convert it into mass. Answers, options, mass. So, we convert it So, we convert it into mass. So, we convert mass. So, we convert it into mass. You can convert. In the relationship, number of moles is mass upon molar mass. So, rearrange it just to rearrange. So, what is mass? Number of moles into molar mass of dichromate. Number of moles of dichromate into molar mass of dichromate. Number of moles of dichromate equal to the strong. What was that value? 0 0.075 into molar mass of dichromate. What is the molar mass of dichromate? It was there in the question. Let me check. See, it is 294, yeah. So 294, you just need to substitute. You have the value in the question. 0 0.075 into 294. That will give you the value in grams. So therefore, mass in grams would be, but this is simply a This can be written as 75 times upon 100,000 into 294. So if you simplify this, you will get the answer as. 22 point something. 22.05 grams. This is the value. So, what is the option? Option C is correct. This is the correct option. So, this is how you are supposed to solve this question. So in the question, this is the methodology. They are giving you oxidation, question oxidation value, volume. If they are giving you the concentration, first equation form. Equation form, you are supposed to solve your question. Get the equation, balance your equation, write overall equation. How many moles of ion is required for how many moles of dichromate? Establish the relationship and then go for solving. Find the number of moles and finally, Find out the mass. Mass one the number of moles into molar mass. So this is the methodology to solve the solve this particular question. Particular right? the question on the this is the approach. Okay. So now we will move on to a question, another different type, different model. Either one day it involved equations. Actually, equations part in a separate or redox equations or chapter la either when the it is a blend of two different uh, chapters. So Adanala, you have to also learn how to write the equation. So we will definitely see that also. Okay. Next, one more question is, I think this you can do it. One easy question also we will see today. I'm adding it. Second question now. This is a question. The molarity of 1 liter solution of 22.2 grams of calcium chloride will be options that are the options are option A 
point four mole. Option B, point two. Option C, point eight, and option B, point six. Okay, this is a simple question. Okay, this is directly based on uh, you know the concept and formula. So we will see it in the in the question number part. Now, how to solve? So what is given in the question? Anybody? Can you correlate? What is the given values? Yes. Sir, M is equal to twenty-two point two. Yes, M is equal to twenty-two point two grams. Yes, very good. So, ये को मैं वो रुकेल भी पढ़ी करेंगे अभी ना. First given values ये दिखो. So given data, in the given data वंदे मुझे तो mass कोर्ट रख रहा हूँ. Very clearly mass is mentioned. Mass of uh, the molarity of uh, the mass of calcium chloride is given twenty-two point two grams. Okay, good. Next, what else is uh, there? Sir, volume equal to one liter. Volume is equal to one liter. Good. So volume is one liter. So that is also mentioned. For a one liter solution, we will write that. So end data, we will get it. Okay. So what is the formula for molarity? You remember? Sir, number of moles by volume. Yes, molarity is nothing but mass of what? Mass of solute. Mass of solute one day in grams, yeah. Mass of solute in grams divided by divided by what value? Divided by your molecular weight. Divided by the molecular weight of solute. Okay. Divided by volume. Into, yes, into volume. Into volume, nothing but in liters. To volume in liters. So this is the basic uh, formula that we are going to use. Okay. So now my point is substitute. Panna. What is the mass of solute? Or can I question the question? Twenty-two point two grams divided by what is the molecular weight of the solute? One hundred and ten. You have to find out calcium chloride. Ilya, yeah. calcium chloride. Or molecular weight. Can you put in it? CaCl two. CA वन दे 40 नहीं करें 39 point something we can take it as 40 40 plus chlorine वन दे I think 35 point five थी या two times 35 point five so ये वाला वर्दे sir 111 111 you are getting what is the unit this grams gram per mole yes so आज दा so 111 grams per mole multiplied by volume is one liter okay yes So simplify it. How much are you getting if you simplify this? Zero point two, sir. Zero point two. Okay. Zero point two. What is the unit for molarity? It is molar. Yes, cap lab. Okay. Moles per liter da. Moles per liter da. Na ma vande molar. Okay. Molar concentration. I will solve it. Solve. Pigla. Number of moles per liter da. Molar concentration. Cap lab. I will solve it. Na ma represent panna. So point. So the answer is option. You can see it is option B. Yes, this is the answer. That's it. In the Marida, you mean the question is solved. So here, this concept is we are applying. Okay. Next, we will go to one more question. Another model. See this model. This is again a very. It is related to this, but in a different way. They have framed the question. Let us try it. Let us try it. This is a question. We will read it. What is the concentration of sugar? Okay. Actually, sugar. When the here uh, the values have not come up properly, so I will give you C twelve H twenty two O eleven. Okay, and then when the dislodge is, I will put it. C twelve H twenty two O eleven. That is the value. That is the formula. O eleven. In moles per liter, we are asking you to find concentration. You can't put it. You know, unit one there in moles per liter of its twenty grams. That is, that is twenty grams. That is, 
they have dissolved in water to make a final volume up to 2 liters final volume pathinga na 2 liters okay so again in moles per liter da so i will give you the options so option these are the options that we have Again, Marbury, in the question level, the NNF group is they have given you the concentration of your sugar. Sugar concentration is given. So, what does that mean? Yes, they have given you what are, what are the given values? Anybody, sir? Mass of uh, given mass of sugar, yum equal to 20 grams. Okay, yum is equal to 20 grams. Okay. 20 grams. Don't you think volume is also given? Vol 2 liters? Yes, yes. yes. 20 gram is there. 2 liters you can see, which is nothing but volume. is 2 liters. Okay. And molar mass of sugar, better. You know, they have given you the formula. Sugar, they have given C12, H22, O11. So, the molar mass, can you put it? 342. 342. Okay. Gram per mole. Yes, 342 grams per mole. So, other also you find and keep it is easy for us to substitute. Okay, other, other that was also ready. Now, again, molarity concept. So, molarity is equal to now, what would you do? Get the substitute panel. You have the mass. So, 20 divided by so 20 grams divided by your molar mass, which we already have. 342. Mm, into into, two. into volume. Volume only for two da. So into two. Okay, two and twenty you cancel off ten and then you are going for a division. Okay. So divide panning now. What is the final value that you are getting? You will obviously get in decimals. It's zero point zero two nine two. Zero point zero two nine two. Unit one there, it will be in order. Moles per liter. Other the molar. The solar. Order. This is how you saw. So, question line and data put the appropriately. Ning in the formula use pandavinga. Now, there you molarity of the formula. So, we are trying to use it and then simplify accordingly. So, all that. that is how you basically go with this question. Okay, Ingla? I hope it is this part is clear. So, we will move now into a totally different model. We have done with the molarity model. So, next we will go to the next model. Next question, next model we will see. The next one is H2O, so let me rewrite. Question is 8 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 18 grams of water. Okay, in 18 grams of water, full stop. Mole fraction of sodium hydroxide in solution. So let me just see it. The mole fraction of sodium hydroxide in solution and molarity in moles per kilogram of the solution, respectively, are. So you have to find out what is the mole fraction and molarity. I give you the options. So try. Whoever wants to try, you can try it. This is uh, also, you know, based on the concept of mole fraction. You know, try panla. Mole fraction. I try with formula school. Okay. So if you remember, you can proceed and do it. These are the options. Eh? 
these are the options so and you will pathinga options la rendu value kuduthirukanga so that is nothing but uh, your uh, values the mole fractions for both sodium hydroxide and and your molarity also is given you need to find out for both okay. this is our question fine so try this so what is the value which is given so given data in ana kuduthirukanga they have given you 8 grams sodium hydroxide one is given mass is given as 8 grams and dissolve in 18 grams of uh, water so the solvent oda mass kuduthirukanga 18 grams appdi solli they have given okay so what is the formula for mole fraction mole fraction one nam we represent using the symbol so mole fraction is given by the symbol so number of moles of solute so mole fraction of solute basically nam eppadi eludhuvom it is nothing but number of moles of solute divided by how to be right number of moles of solute plus solvent rendu me number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solvent idu vandu ungalku mole fraction of solute vandu kudukum so na inga eludren indha symbol vandu mole fraction vandu kurikidu so this is called mole fraction and this is number of moles of solute on the numerator and denominator la vandu ungalku rendu value irukku so solute plus solvent both the moles okay so you have it now number of moles of solute vandu eppadi nam eludikala further further how do we write number of moles of solute yes mass of solute divided by molar mass of solute abdi nam ye eppadi eludikrom ena namak mass da kudukapatirukku kelvila kelvila namak na direct ah moles kudukala mass da kuduthirukranga so adanalae nam indha equation la vandu we are changing in terms of mass and molar mass so mass upon molar mass of solute divided by same mass upon molar mass of your solute plus mass upon molar mass of solvent avladha so na enna pannirkena ne express pannirukra number of moles vandu na convert panniten in terms of mass and molar mass so adha nam pannirukku next next you go for a substitution so before you go for a substitution keep all the values ready with you okay so they have given you mass and uh, okay we can find out the now mole fraction of sodium hydroxide that is naoh or the mole fraction only let us find okay to find it i want the mass of naoh what is the mass of naoh the question 8 gram. grams so 8 grams 8 divided by 40 8 divided by the molar mass of sodium hydroxide vandu 40 okay good so 8 divided by 40 the whole divided by again 8 by 40 then varum of your solute then thirumbi so 8 by 40 plus 18 mass of the solvent mass of solvent vandu enadhu 18 na kuduthirukanga right 18 by molar mass of solvent h2o vandu 2 plus 16 yes 18 only again so 18 na so 8 by 40 divided by 8 8 by 40 plus 18 by 18 which is 1 so simplify it so it when you have to go for a simplification so 8 by 40 the whole divided by here if you want to go for an lcm go for an lcm so 8 by 40 plus 1 evlo varudhu 8 plus 40 48 right 48 by 40 yeah this is what you get just check it okay now go for a reciprocal so 8 by 40 into 40 by 48 40 40, 40 cancel adukaprom 8 and 48 cancel pannala illa yeah. 6 table 6 table it is going 8 ones are 8 8 six are 48 so 1 by 6 one upon 6 i am getting How much is that? One upon six. Zero point one six six. Yes, zero point one six six. Recurring zero. So zero point one six six. You can approximate a zero point one six. You know seven or whatever it is. So you can leave it here. So zero point one six. What is the unit? There is no unit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my fraction. Then I can't put it wrong. Fraction. Can I have the unit? Unda. There is no unit for a fraction. is just a fractional value that's it so it is unitless mole fractions don't have any unit so 0.166 so we are having two options which are very close 
So we will have to next calculate the molality. Molality calculate panala, we can further find out the value. Okay. What is the formula for molality? M O L A L I T Y. Molarity. Molality is given by small m. What is the value? What is the formula? Molality or a formula pathina, it is number of moles of solute divided by the mass of solvent in kg. Okay. Number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg is nothing but your molality. Okay. So I am going to now substitute. Number of moles of solute. We can write it as mass upon molar mass so you can write it like that of solute divided by the mass of solvent in kg which already you have so I am expressing ok same so I am Number of moles, number mass of solute. In other mass of solute, eight uh, eight by forty. Then varo. NaOH then. So eight by forty divided by next mass of solvent in kilograms. Kekra. So in kilograms, something like that. Now question the kilogram le kudukla. Question le abhi kudukla. Grams na kudukla. Water or the mass pati na eighteen grams. So gram to kilogram, how will you convert? Eighteen grams to kilograms. Multiply by thousand or divide by thousand. Divided by thousand. Yes, you will divide by 1000. So, this divided by 1000. Well, our reciprocal and I simplify. Just need to go for a reciprocal and simplification. So, you can get 1000 by 18. So you are, this is what you get. So, 1010 zero, zero, you can directly cancel. 4 ones are 4, 4 25s are 100. And uh, 18 and 8 also go for a simplified uh, cancellation. 9s are 2, 4s are, right? So, 100, 100 by 9 kg. So, this is 11.11. Yes. So, 11.11. What is the unit of molality? The unit is moles per kg. I am grams the kg. I am not going to be able to do the number of moles. So, the unit of molality is moles per kg. So, now I am going back. The correct option is 11.11. Where are we getting? Ah, here it is. Yes. So eleven point one one. So we are getting option D. So option D is the correct answer. This is how you solve. I hope it is clear. This question. You understood how to do. This is the method you have to follow. Okay. So this is how we basically do it. So next we'll go out and see another model. So different different models are there. We are trying to cover all the different types. Next, I think this also you can try. Yes, try it. I think it is simple only. 500 ml solution of a 5 molar solution, 500 ml of 5 molar solution, if diluted to 1500 ml, what will be the molarity of the solution obtained? Sorry, M1 V1 equal to M2. Yes, equivalence use. Mol molar equivalence to be used. Okay, use the molar equivalence relationship and then you have to find the answer. Yes, who can tell me the answer? I'll give you the options. We'll try to do it. These are the options. One option could be there. Right. So 1.66. 1.66. Okay, everybody is getting 1.66. I'll show you. 
enna kuduthirukanga question la they have given you the corresponding values volume is given corresponding molarity is also given so or solution oda volume adoda molarity um kuduthirukanga yerkenave question la i will circle it okay so they have given what is that what i have circled it is this is v1 and this is m1 solution oda or molarity molarity um and the solutions volume is also given okay next it is diluted dilute panna pirpadu adoda volume change agudhu it is changed to 1500 ml after adding 1000 ml of water adavadhu 1 liter thanni setha setha prom adoda volume vandu v2 ipo namakku m2 kandupidikkanum ipo enna pandrom molar equivalence relationship use pandradunala you will get m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 namakku we have to find out m2 So keep M2 one side. Shift all other terms to the other side. So, what is it? M2 equal to M1 V1 divided by V2 V1, right? Yes, sir. V1. Sir, M1 V1 M1 V1. Yes. So M1 V1 divided by V2. Yeah. This is what you get. So substitute panna the value. Substitute panna the. So you substitute the values. What is M1 value? Five into V1 value is 500 divided by V2. V2 value is 1500. Cancel out the zeros. 5s are 5, 5 threes are. So how much is 5 upon 3? Yes, 5 by 3 will give you the value. Okay. The units appropriately in molar units. So 5 by 3 one day is how much? 1.6. 1.6. 1.6. So that is the answer. So that is equal to 1.66 molar concentration, or the molarity is 1.66. That's all. So in the Marina, you solve this model of the question. Okay, we'll go to the next model without any delay. So I hope this is clear. As I'm explaining, you can write down in English. Try it. You can write it down so that you will not forget. So make sure that it is there in your notes. Give you a different model this time. Yes, next question is a different model. Yes, so here comes a question. Is that question? Question is, how many grams of concentrated nitric acid solution should be used to prepare? 250 ml. Okay, that is call later. 250 ml of two molar HNO3. Okay, two molar HNO3. HNO3 one day is nitric acid. The concentration of the acid is 70 percent. Acid or the concentration one day. Here we have this. Here we have this. Other way, that is 30 percent is water. That is the meaning. So you have to find how many grams. Of the concentrated nitric acid solution is to be used. You should find out the mass. Yeah. So let us look at it. I'll give you the options first before we proceed. These are the options. Okay. Forty-five grams, ninety grams, seventy grams, and fifty-four grams. So these are the options. So how do we? Solve this corresponding question. You will see. So anybody who knows how to solve it, what concept to be used? Concept of. You know, all my molar molar being that na la. You have to use the concept of molarity. Yes. So use the concept of molarity. What is the formula? Anybody repeat? What is the formula we have seen for molarity? Sir, number of moles by uh, volume in liter. Yes. Okay. So that is nothing but the formula. So now we have to wait. First, we have to mass of H N O three. Can we put it in? After that, next time uh, we can we can proceed further. So let's find out. So what do you do? First, we try to find out what is the corresponding mass of H N O three. Nitric acid. Will be equal to the molarity value 
multiplied by rearrange panir ka. So it will be molarity times the molar mass of HNO3 into volume. Into the volume, rearrange. Into the volume. So this is what we get. Volume on the liter la no. Yes. So I am ensuring it. So now coming to the molarity. Molarity as per the question. Two molar. Yes, it is going to be two molar. In here, see it is here. Two molar. So two into molar mass of HNO3. And then you calculate panic. What is the molar mass of HNO3? Hydrogen is one, nitrogen is uh, 14, oxygen is 16. 16 into 3 plus 14 plus 1. How much you are getting? 63. Yes, 63 is correct. So 2 into 63 into volume. 253,000. Yes, volume is given as 250 ml. So, if we convert 250 milliliter, then. So it is to be divided by thousand. Milli means thousand, one by thousand. Okay. So I am dividing by thousand. So it is the substitution. So if we simplify panic over zero zero, I will cancel. Twenty-five ones are twenty-five, twenty-five fours are hundred. Then you go for cancelling. Two ones are two, two twos are four. So sixty-three by two grams. How much is sixty-three by two? Decimal We will get the value. 31.5. Yes, 31.5. That's correct. 31.5 grams you will get. It. So we have now we have to find the mass of HNO3. So we want to find out what is this concentration. 31.5 grams is just the mass. But we would like to find out what is the concentration. Okay. So what total you know mass of HNO3? Total concentration is 100%. Correct? 100% concentration is total. 100% HNO3. Listen carefully. 100% HNO3 corresponds to 31.5 grams. 70% concentration of your acid will have how many grams? That's the meaning. It will correspond to how many grams? You can use ratio and proportion. What will you do? 31 by 31.5 by 100 into Yes, 31.5 grams into 100 divided by 70. Yes, total is 100, no? So 31.5 divided yes. by 70. We require for that 70%. So base value is another 31.5 upon 70 times 100 will give you the required concentration of HNO3. That is nitric acid or the required concentration you will get. So that many grams. So it is simplified by another 0, 0, I am cancelling. And you can move on decimal place value and then divide by 7. So what is the value that you are getting? 45. 45. So 45 grams concentration of HNO3. So which is the option? Our option is option A. First one is the answer. So 45 grams is the concentration, which is, which is there. Concentration of the nitric acid. Okay. That's it. 45 grams of the, the nitric acid is present in the available concentration of 70% as per the question. So in the Madina, you have to solve this this model. Now, if you have to answer this one, 31 grams, you should not give, take it as answer. Okay. Sometimes to confuse, they will give one option as 31 grams also. In the question, the proof left, but general competitive exam. So, no matter if you solve it, the answer of insolitic panning, you will go wrong. You should find out for the given concentration 70% now get 100% So, 70% equal and convert panning in answer tick one. Okay, so that's why I picked up this model. This question was different. Okay. So this is how we are supposed to solve this question. Am I clear? Are you able to understand? This question, how to solve? Any yes, doubts? sir. Yes. So last, we will see one more. Okay, a different model. So with this, we will wind this chapter. This chapter is complete. 
basics uh, of psychometry, the concepts of psychometry, we are completed. We are coming to an end of this chapter. So, and I'll give some questions for practice. Getting a different model, you know, most models from a path at all. I'm searching which is different, so it's taking time. Yes, one model I have got. This is a question. Next question, <coughs> you can read it. So go through the question. One gram of magnesium is burnt with 0 0.56 grams of oxygen in a closed vessel. So they have given the mass and they have also given you how it is being burnt with oxygen. And which reactant is left in excess and how much? Question is, reactant or it is left in excess? It is not completely reacted. It is a combustion, combustion reaction. Yeah, when you burn magnesium ribbon in air, what type of reaction it is? It is coming under combustion reaction. So, that is what is given here. Options are these are the options. Option A, they have given you this. Option B, option C and option D. This is the question. We will try to solve this question. Yes. So, how will you approach solving this question? So, we'll pack along. So, what is given, children, in the question? Anybody? Sir, mass of magnesium equal to 1 gram. Mass of the magnesium is given as 1 gram. One gram. Okay. Fine, mass of magnesium is 1 gram. Okay. Apro? So for oxygen, it is 0 0.56. For oxygen, it is 0 0.56. Okay. Then we have to write the equation of combustion. Yes, you should write the equation for the combustion formation of product. So other part, that is correct. So magnesium is reacting with oxygen, right? To form what will be the product? 2 MgO. Yes, magnesium oxide, that is MgO form. That is why you balance it. Balance it. Left side, you put a 2 oxygen atom. You put a 2 here and you put a 2 here also. Okay. But question, Prakaram, they have told just 1 gram of magnesium is burnt with 0.56 grams of oxygen. 0.59 it is half. Okay. Half grams. So, half gram of the equation is 1 gram. So, half means what should I do? I should multiply the entire equation with half. Then I will achieve what is given in the question. So, question I am molding my equation. What I am doing, I am multiplying the entire equation with half. Half what I multiply, what is happening to the equation? You will get mg plus, plus half photo. Half O2 will give MgO. Mg. This is also still balanced. Okay. This e this equation is still balanced. Will the now will you say if I multiply with half, sir, balance Agala have been solving la? No, it is still balanced. Same da. the uh, this one will the mass is say will the number of moles or mass change? No, it remains same because I'm multiplying on both sides with half. So it is going to be the same. Okay, so if for question pragaram pating na one gram of magnesium is burned with 0.56 grams. Okay, everything is clearly mentioned. So I'm going to now go for the relationship. So now magnesium. What is the magnesium value? As per the question, they have given it as the atomic weight is given as anyways 24. So we can take it as 24 grams. 24 
74 grams is given oxygen oxygen is going to be anyways it is going to react with the corresponding 16 grams so it is 16 so i am writing everything as per you know the values for one oxygen atom i am writing adhe mari for magnesium oxide one the is going to be 40 40 grams so adding both magnesiums and the oxygen value so singly i am taking okay so magnesium value one the 14 as per the equation nn pathinga na 24 after oxygen one the half o2 na enna the o2 one the 16 into 2 32 theriyo namakku that is half 16. That is 16 photo. Confuse that. Magnesium oxide is oxygen 16 plus whatever is for uh, you know, magnesium. For magnesium, it is going to be 24. Right? If you add both, you will get 40. Am I clear? So that is what I have written here. So do not get confused. So from the equation, it is clear that 24 grams of magnesium is reacting with 16 grams of oxygen okay to produce 40 grams of magnesium oxide this is what is the equation telling Apo, one gram magnesium is going to react with how many oxygen uh, atoms or how many yes so one gram of magnesium will require 16 by 24 okay 16 by 24 grams of your oxygen of o2 which is how much 16 by 24 when the decimal convert I think 0.65 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 6, 6. Yes, sir, 66. 6, 6. So approximate 0. 0.67 0. 0.67 grams oxygen. Okay. So either one we are trying trying to get a relationship. But Namak 0.67 grams oxygen available. Let us check. Are we in are we having that much oxygen? No. See, we have 0 0.56 only available with us. So, that much only is available. So, 0 0.56 grams of oxygen will require how many? Thirimbi ratio and proportion use pannega. 0 0.56 grams of O2 will react with how much magnesium? Will react with Mg, no? How much Mg it will react with? Use ratio and proportion. 0 0.56 by 0 0.6 0 0.56 by no 24 by 16 yeah into 0 0.56 you just multiply so this much only will react okay 24 by 16 into 0 0.56 so you have to find out this corresponding value so simplify this so how much are you getting after you simplify Four fours are sixteen. Four six are two two are three are so three by two now one point five one point five into zero point five six. It's now zero point eight four. Zero point eight four. So zero point eight four grams. That means this is only you know is going this much of oxygen is basically required. So how much of magnesium will be left which is not reacted? Zero point one six. 0 0.16. How did you find that? Sir, 1 gram minus. Yes, amount of magnesium unreacted or left unreacted will be that 1 gram minus which is reacted 0 0.84 grams. So, you will balance the reactor. So, you will get 0 0.16 grams of magnesium. This was the amount of magnesium which was unreacted. Sir, here the limiting reagent is oxygen. The values. Now, which would be the option? It is. What is, what is the correct option here? So, 0 0.16 grams is left unreacted. Sir, so how much? Hmm. Option? A. A. Yes. So, the corresponding magnesium only. And it is it is unreacted magnesium is unreacted and it is 0 0.16 grams of that amount of magnesium or the reactant which is unreacted all right so this is the answer so option a is the answer make clear this is how you solve this type of questions
simple combination reaction kuduthirvanga and ungalku kudupanga excess so which is called a limiting reagent inga oxygen yes it is the limiting reagent because it is limiting itself in the reaction it is not pres- present in a desired quantity limiting reagent in another it is not present in the appropriate quantity it is present less than required adha da nama vandu limiting reagent appdin solli solrom that is the reason magnesium is unreact magnesium full la combustion aagala yen yena adu complete a combustion aagakudiya adu theva padakudiya oxygen vandu inge illa adanal oxygen is your limiting reagent which is limiting the combustion of magnesium okay that is how you understand this question Fine. So with this, we will wind up. I have taken extra time, but anyways, I wanted to, you know, see that all concepts are covered. Manish, Fine. I have one doubt, Manish. Yes, sir. Uh, you said uh, oxygen is the limiting reagent in solution, ma? Reactant in solution, ma? Ah, नमँ वंदे limiting reagent ना सोलु सोलु. Okay, okay. अदा केटन. That is a term which we use. Okay. Uh, but ये ला रेंटु ओन्डु जाने? हाँ, सोलु ना सर. Limiting reactant कोड सोलु. याना left side रखता नाले. We can definitely use. Ada, but but both means the same am i correct yes yes sir it means the same. little bit of confusion at me ada ipada okay anyway i think the children konja konja depth ah poi irkaru sir ninga innike idu poi or murai paathutinga na it will be better yarala konja puriyada area la porinjirum paathinga na or limiting reagent engra appra and epdi and gram kandupidikiradha adala it's not difficult at the same time uh, once or more paathitinga na it will be clarity will be much better okay thank you manish for your effort uh, we will meet again in the next sunday yes sir sure. thank you thank you